Hello guys, welcome back to the Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to analyze this cantilever beam. This is a cantilever beam with a uniformly varying load. And this is a triangular load acting on this cantilever beam. And the beam length is 6 meter. So we are going to find out the support reactions and also to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for this cantilever beam having uniformly varying load. So the load starts from zero here at zero distance with a zero magnitude and ends at the distance of 6 meter with a magnitude of 3 kN per meter. So first of all we have to find out the support reactions as there is only one support, it is a fixed support so it can resist the vertical load or Y, it can also resist the horizontal load but here there is no horizontal load acting on this beam so we cannot draw the horizontal reaction because the horizontal reaction will be zero for this beam and this effect supports it can also take the moment for the upcoming load so we are going to find out the r y and m to find out these values we have to first calculate the total amount of load acting on this beam if this is a triangular load to find out the total load acting on this beam we can find out the area of this triangle and this will be the total amount of load acting on this beam. If this is a triangle, so, and this is a B base and this is a height, so we can find the area of this triangle is half base into height. So, similarly, this is a triangular load. If we found out the area of this triangle, so it will be the load, the total load acting on this beam. So, similarly, we can find out can find out the area of this triangle which is half base into height so half base is 6 meter multiplying with height which is 3 kN per meter so meter meter will be cancelled we are only remain with the unit of kN it means it is the total amount of load acting on this beam in the unit of kN so by multiplying these two we got 9 kN so this is the total load acting on this beam. This was the uniformly varying load and we convert this load into a pointed load. This load is now a pointed load on this beam. And we can show here that the load, that this load act at this position, 9 kN. This is the total magnitude of this load. This is not a distributed load, a uniformly distributed load but it's now a pointed load or concentrated load. So, after finding out this total load acting, acting on this beam is 9 kN, we can easily find out the reaction or why is the total load will be only resisted by this support. So, similarly, the Ry is also equal to 9 kN. Because the whole load will be only taken by this support, so we can say that Ry is equal to 9 kN. Now how to find out the moment? So for moment it is equal to the moment is equal to the force into moment arm. So moment is equal to the force is 9 kN. And what about the moment arm? The moment arm is the distance from this 9 kN up to this point where we want to find out the moment. So this distance is R and this is unknown to us. Now to find out this moment arm, let's suppose this is in a triangle. And this 9 kN load acts at the centroid of this triangle. So if this is the centroid of the triangle, so if the whole distance is length L, so the centroid from this point up to this point will be 2 thirds of L. And this point distance will be 1 third of L. This is the centroid of the triangle. From this point, it will be 2 thirds of L. And from this point up to this point, it will be one third of L. So similarly, from this point up to this point, it will be two third of L. Two third of L means two third of six meter. So this is the moment arm. Now, so by multiplying this moment arm here, so nine kilonewton was the load, and moment arm is two third of L, which is six meter. So by multiplying these two we got moment of 36 kilonewton meter. So this is the moment here, 36 kilonewton meter. 
So we found out the support reactions for this beam. Now in order to draw the shear force bending moment diagram, it's very simple and easy. First we have to draw the reference lines. This is for the shear force diagram in the unit of kilonewton and this is for the bending moment diagram in the unit of kilonewton into meter. Now to draw the shear force diagram we have to take these are the reference lines. Now this Ry is 9 kilonewton acting in the upper direction so we should bring this from 0 up to 9 kilonewton in the upper direction. Now again there is a uniformly varying load acting on this beam in the downward direction. This was acting in the upper direction and the other acting in the downward direction so it will bring this shear diagram in the downward position. By how much magnitude? This is 9 kilonewton so it is 9 was in the upper direction now minus because it is acting downward direction this load. And how much is this load? This load is 9 kilonewton. We got 0. So it means that the shear force is zero here at this point. So we can bring this here like in this way. So this load was a linear load, was a one degree line. We can see that this is a linear load of one degree. So this shear force diagram will be a two degree or we can say a parabola. Now the bending moment diagram, we can easily draw the bending moment diagram is we know that the bending moment here at this point is 36 kN and it is a cantilever beam so it will be always a negative bending moment of minus 36 kilonewton meter. This is a bending moment here and then there is no support here at this point so there is no support so it will not resist any moment here at this point. So similarly the bending moment diagram will also be zero at this point. So similarly we can join these two points. So this is the shear force diagram and this is the bending moment diagram for this beam. Now it should be kept in mind that this line is a third degree line. It is a cubic line because the bending moment diagram is always one degree greater than the shear force diagram. And shear force diagram is always one degree greater than the load diagram. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.